I found the easiest way to go live and stream with five clicks straight from a web browser. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, and I'm live. This is gonna be a fast and easy video for those of you that wanna start learning how to stream, as well as for those of you that need to stream in like an hour or so, and you're completely unprepared. Whatever the reason is, make sure you let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe. Here is the website Melon, which is made by a huge streaming company called Streamlabs, and this is their simple way to stream. Now I have to say that there is a free and a pro version, both of which that allow you to stream to Twitch and YouTube, but the pro version has more features like no watermark, unlimited streaming, and you can bring up to six guests to be shown on your stream and your viewers can watch them as well. The pro version costs $15 a month, which is cheaper than other websites you'll find that offer the same thing. And if you guys want to go ahead and check this streaming site out, make sure you click the link in my description. Also, don't worry about this being too troublesome on your PC because this is all done in the cloud. So your PC doesn't do any of the work, which is also great for streaming at 1080p with this website because your PC doesn't do any of the work. Even I, with my other applications that I use, can't stream at 1080p because it hurts my PC too much and it doesn't look good. But with this website, I can do it easily. When you first sign up for Melon, it will ask you to allow your mic and webcam. So you're gonna wanna do that to make sure you can be seen and heard. In the top left, you can show your webcam. Now, if this isn't the right one or it's not showing, just go to the bottom arrow and go to video input and just select whichever webcam you have. And then you can also change your resolution down here. If you want to go ahead and add your microphone, go press the arrow and go to audio input. Select your microphone and if it starts adding these green levels, you can know that it's working. And then your audio output is whatever your system audio is. Normally this will be real text speakers for you. Now that you have your microphone and webcam, you can go ahead and start adjusting what shows up on your stream by going down to edit screen and you can change your name or you can turn it off in general, which is what I do. The next thing is the logo. You can turn that off if you have the pro version, as well as uploading your own custom logo by selecting an image off your PC or computer. Now, if you go down to banner, this is the banner and this is the ticker. The banner has just text, background, color, and all that stuff. And same for the ticker. The ticker is just cool because it slides across your stream. You can change the colors and the backgrounds on both of these just by going down to these arrows and showing the selections right here. Now the background is where it gets cool because when you press share screen, you can go ahead and select your screen, share it, and then when you loads, you can press show on stream. Your background will be whatever is displayed in the back here, and you can upload your own custom one if you have the pro version, which is what I did, and I like this brick background. If you go down to the bottom left here, it shows two different displays. I personally like this one. If I need the display to be more uh, large to show something in detail, or if this, if it's just, you know, me chatting and I'm casually have something in the background, or if you want your screen to be shown in full, all you have to do is just press hide on your webcam and then go down to the main big scene just like this. If you want to change what is showing up, all you have to do is just drag and drop and these things will easily switch. Now this is where things get even better because you can add guests to your stream. Just go up to the top left, press that and it will copy a link. Send this to all your friends and all they have to do is just press join and they will join your stream if you allow them to. When they join, you have the option of showing them on stream. And when you click that, they will show above or below you, depending on how many people you have. And you can also change the layout once again. You can drag and drop to whatever you want. If you ever need to mute your mic or turn off your webcam, this is like Zoom and all you have to do is just tap the button down here. Now in order to read chat, if you're streaming to an audience or soon to be one, all you have to do is click the button in the middle, press chat, and then go to your stream chat, which will be your stream, or your private chat with your guests that you've invited onto your stream. If you want to schedule a broadcast so that you and your guests are all ready, all you have to do is go down to schedule right here and add a schedule and then select whatever accounts you want to go live on, press that, and then you just have to enter in some information. I'm just going to type in hi here and then I schedule that and you can copy the link and share it with all your upcoming guests and there you have a scheduled stream.
All that's left to do before you go live is to connect your account or accounts to Melon. And this is cool because you can actually multi-stream. You can stream to Twitch, YouTube, and even Mixer. What? I'm just kidding, it, you can't do that. All at the same time, if you want to. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean your audience will grow faster. It does mean, however, you will be able to test different sites out and see which one you like better. All you have to do to do this, go to the top right, go to settings and connect your accounts. When you're done, press studio, and then you can press go live once your face cam or gameplay or display capture, all that stuff loads up and you can press go live, select whichever accounts you want to stream to, press next, add a title, a description, and go live. And that's it, nice and simple. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below, or you can contact Melon Support for any questions you have there or any feedback you want to give them. And that's it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. It's been a long day. See you guys in the next one.